I took a break between my bachelor's degree and my master's degree where I actually just sort of like really messed up my life and then had to crawl out of a hole. And I went to grad school and in 2010, they sent me to a women in mathematics conference and they had a whole session on imposter syndrome. And the woman who's standing up at the front said, has anyone ever felt like if your school knew who you really were, that you wouldn't be there. And everyone's hands went up. And I thought it was just me because of my personal experience and what I had been doing. But seeing these types of things throughout time is really what helped me to get through it or thinking I don't know enough about a topic and then spending time on social media and looking around and being like, well, actually, I go a little bit deeper than than what I'm seeing here and I can feel confident or getting that validation too when I post something that people say that they've learned from my content. I think that it is something that doesn't necessarily go away in one day, but hearing stories from other people and experiences about where they realized that they weren't the only ones dealing with that. And that takes away some of the power because then it's not real. It's not the truth. It's something that we're dealing with on our own, but when you are able to look at what's going on around you and you realize that you do have expertise, you realize that you do belong in that university because they accepted you with your real credentials and decided to keep you and you know offer you a spot, then over time you do the same job for a while and you just feel more comfortable. In the beginning, there's so many things. We're not sure what the culture is. We're not sure how to interact with other people. We're not sure what the types of questions that we should be asking and where we should just be making decisions on our own and going with it. But it's really through experience, which can come really quickly if you're aware of it and you're thinking about all these points as you go along, you can start to move past some of that. And of course, you can still have bad days where maybe you're feeling like a little bit more insecure than you do normally. But in general, I know what my strengths are now. I know what I'm good at. I know what I'm not good at. And it's okay that I'm not good at certain things and I don't have to be good at everything. So now I feel pretty good most of the time. And you know, don't get, don't get distracted by the outliers. There's always going to be somebody who doesn't like it. That's what I kind of feel.